One in 68 children is diagnosed with autism. That's the estimate from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Local 12's John Lomax tells us about new research that may help us better understand the disorder. Cuba Cooper and Alani Rowland have autism. They're taking part in a study that could someday help classify and diagnose autism earlier. Researchers at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine are testing how quickly children who have autism recognize a tone and picture of a circle. These electrodes measure both the child's brain waves and how quickly the brain responds to sights and sounds. Within the first quarter of a second, or within the first tenth of a second, how's this information being processed? For the new study, 43 autistic children ages 6 to 17 were tested. Scientists hope their work can one day be used as a tool for earlier diagnosis and help doctors more accurately pinpoint where a child falls on the autism spectrum. Cuba's mom, Celine Cooper, says that's important for families. Even with the help that Cuba got, if I didn't do the early intervention, I don't think he would be at the level he is right now. She credits his more than 10 years of treatment for helping him do well in school. John Lomax, Local 12 News. The researchers found children with autism process some sensory information more slowly.